Hey everybody, Jeff, Cedar Acres Homestead. Um, got a busy day planned. Just let the birds out. Did chores. Um, had a late night last night. We had to go get a round bell from the in-laws. Uh, we also had a guinea that they didn't want because it was beating up on their younger chickens. So we brought that over here. I released him. He's running around out here. But, uh second Saturday of every month up here at the tractor supply they have a farmers market but you can also sell poultry um, cows goats as long as their ears are tagged so we have to tag some goats ears today um, Mallory has whipped up a bunch of the Cedar Acres goat soap all natural so we're gonna try to sell some of that there just go and have a good time tomorrow see what happens I did some projects that we're gonna try wood work projects so, yeah, um, just, we'll keep you updated on that and come along for the journey with us. All right. Mallory is doing hay right now. I had a pretty late night last night. We had to go get that brown bill from her dad. And they had a guinea that they wanted to give to us that was actually beating up on their chickens we're gonna see how that works here honkers are out so i am gonna let the chickens out and we're gonna go from there there you are but you just uh that's real Rio just, yeah, that's my beehive that's covered up. But there's the new guinea right there. And I'm assuming Rio, they said it, Rio was a female, but I don't think so. Rio just beat the tar. I shouldn't say that. It wasn't that bad, but. Ooh, let's see if we can. don't want it to go across the road. I don't think it'll go very far. Um, I probably should have left it caged up, but it will come back, but just kind of keep an eye on it. tags for the goats it is a nice sunny day humidity levels down and Mallory's busy putting her labels on her soap smells good in here tell everybody what flavors you got flavors flavors yes well, I would not recommend eating them um, I have some Lemongrass with Yang Yang. It's got a pretty earthy smell to it. It's got a little bit of a orange hue to it. A couple of uh, orange speckles of turmeric in there as well. And then I made up some uh, cherry blossom blend. So I've got high note, top notes of cherry blossom. And then I've got some vanilla and some rose in there, brain fart. <laughs> um, and I also use pink, French pink clay into it as well, so it kind of gives you a little bit of that uh, pinkish color. Um, that one, as you can see, that bar wasn't quite as pretty as how that one turned out as far as the um, 
being as smooth and that's because I've been struggling with which I found out that a lot of your florally type of fragrances um, essential oils because that's all I use in mine they tend to make the soap batter seize up and so you have to mix it really fast really and get it into your molds really fast because it'll start to get really tough to mix and then you can't pour it so it's not like a batter anymore so um, so I tried to work really fast with that turned out okay better than I was expecting so that's good um, but those florally scents seem to go really well so I don't want to not make those so but it still works the same and then I also have some lavender field so that's one of my best sellers um, it's just lavender in there and then I also have lavender um, dried lavender bloods and in, buds into it and uh, I also use friend um, Brazilian purple clay into this one so I was able to get a little bit of a purpley hue um, to get an all-natural purple to your soap it's not going to be as vibrant as what you would think it would be um, a lot of those soaps that you see that have a vibrant purple are made with mica powders which that's a synthetic and I try to stay away from the synthetics and just use all natural stuff and plus I found that clay using those it helps to which it has its own properties in itself for your skin but it also helps to hold it lock in the scent when you're using essential oils because essential oils can dissipate kind of after time where using fragrance oils those are going to be your stronger oils but like I said, I try to keep everything natural and use essential oils versus something that's synthetic. So, so I'm just working on putting my labels. I cut them all out this morning and uh, put them all on them, get them ready for the craft show tomorrow. So, We're back guys and getting ready to tag the goat sears. We got the tags, metal tags. They're not so noticeable. So, and put tags in, check their hooves, and go from there. Alright everybody, I'm going to tag this goats here with the metal tag. They look a little bit better than the plastic ones. Hey, you got to go to bed. We got to get up in the morning. What you doing out here? You going to bed? Hey everyone. Got the chores done this morning. Headed to the, yeah, thank you. Headed to the uh, animal swap meat flea market thingamajobber. Running behind, but got a few things Let's see how it works all righty so we made it we're set up Mallory's right there the boys are there it's raining there's already been people leaving we're supposed to have a lot of rain today in the forecast but we got set up and she did sell a couple of bars of goat soap right away I'll show you guys our set up here. Trying to keep it dry. This is her set up. Like I said, there she is again. Those are the three boys I did bring. Unfortunately, some guy wanted to trade me that white one for two of his roosters. And I said, no, the whole idea was to try to get rid of a couple of them. The boys in there. But as you can see, it is still raining. There was was full, but some people have taken off. But we'll check in in a little while, guys. All right, guys, we're still here. It's raining, cats and dogs. But there are chickens and goats. The chickens and goats and all that good stuff. And but I think she has sold how many bars? Seven bars. So that's a good deal, seven bars of soap. But yeah, as you look around, there's still a few people here. 
but hopefully next month we will come back and it'll be sunny like it was yesterday. And as you can see, those ducks over there that they got for sale, they're loving this weather. That's not the only one. But they got a lot of runners. I haven't even been up and walked around looking for people's got. And I didn't even bring a jacket. Shame on me. Or an umbrella. So here we are. Trying to supposed to be selling animals and selling stuff. And here he is going to spend my profit and go on a couple of, buy a couple of scoby ducks. A couple of male and a female there. So see how he is. <laughs> There he is, looking like a prize boy. Just won a prize. <laughs> I gotta take his cage back to the Yoda's on Saturday. All right, everyone, we're out of here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll try this again next weekend, maybe. Leaving with more animals than we brought. Hey, everybody needs a Muscovy duck. All right, bye. Get Bitsy out of there. Apparently we got a surprise in here. Come on, on Bitsy. No, wait, it is wet. Come on, Bitsy. Hold that. Yeah, I got it. So apparently, while we were at the animal swap farm market, somebody had two babies. Hi, Mama. She just had them. Got them cleaned up and they're moving around. She's such a good mama, Miss Kay. And these ones through the color of Mooney. They got the brown, white, and black. Oh, look at baby. And I think I see, I hope that's the, just that. I don't know if they're boys or girls yet. She's, yeah, she just had them, belly buttons. Yeah. That one's belly button drill on. He's job, trying to Mama. eat already. Good job, Kay. <laughs> Give a little surprise when we got back from the Hi, baby. animal swap. Hi, baby. You do a good job, Mama. Let's see if we got boys or girls. Yeah. Let's we'll see if we got boys or girls. What do you think about them babies, Mew Mews? Oh, Dad, it's great. You got to watch, didn't you? Uh, a boy? Another boy. Oh, Come on, no boy. Way. And a girl. Boy we do a girl. got a girl. We got a girl. It's a big question with Where's the goats that? up there today is are they boy or girl? Are they boy or girl? Everybody wants girls. Hi, baby. Yep, you guys got the Mooney, the Mooney look. Everybody look good. Huh? <laughs> yeah, good job, Mama. <laughs> Yeah. And your daughter Bitsy was right there while you had him, huh? Probably standing in this corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good yeah. job. I'll bring you out a, some electrolytes. Some yeah. electrolytes, a good drink. Yeah. How you doing? Okay. It's not ready. It's not ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But guys, it is pouring and I don't want to ruin my phone. <laughs> so we are going to go for the reel this time. And like I said before, don't forget to like and subscribe and join us on our daily adventures here at Cedar Acres Homestead. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye.